Well, group, I'm continuing to read a very, very interesting piece of uh, literature, we'll call it. Um, I just, I was just deep into the year 1995. When I left my old self, it was uh, Christmas time, very, the very end of the year. And I wasn't quite ready to move on to the end of my senior year, so I decided to go back in time a little bit. So now I'm reading my first journal, the one from um, September 7th, 1992 is when it starts. I am a 14-year-old. Look at this enormous handwriting. <laughs> um, and it, here's what's interesting, group. Like the other day, I was talking about how Oh, I'm so glad I'm not like this anymore. <laughs> but <laughs> when I read this 14-year-old self, I am almost exactly the same as I was then. <laughs> like, I really, I really wonder. Like, that's the big question about nurture and nature and, you know, social conditioning. Like, it is absolutely amazing. Like, I feel like I'm kind of, and again, I'm not the one who came up with this metaphor, but like unpeeling the layers to get back to my essential self that I already was when I was 14. Like, I don't know, last year, a friend of mine said that I was in the quote, extreme minority, that I became a sexual person. And then I was, I thought about that and I was like, mm, I don't think that's right. I don't think I became that at all. I think I've always been like that, but it somehow like went underground <laughs> for like 20 years, more than 20 years. I don't know. Um, but when I was 14, it's so funny that I'm interested in the exact same things <laughs> I am now. Obviously books, like I'm, you know, I'm, I just tossed this book across the table. And I said to Jay, if I didn't, I would, would want to just give up reading if I didn't love it so much. I feel like I've spent too much time reading. Ugh. But yet I can't get away. <laughs> like, I'm not going to stop. Um, but anyway, obviously books. But I also go into deep detail. And once I read this, I remembered this about a, um, a movie I watched. I think I was by myself in the basement watching this movie called Andrew and Fergie, or Fergie and Andrew, all about, like, you know, Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew. And I, I talk about how they met, and I, I, say, I say something like, I don't want to use a conventional teenage word, but Andrew was hot. Like, already at four, and when I was 14, I was like, I don't want to say somebody's hot, but then I did. And then, you know, I kind of like took a hiatus from using that word and now I've come back to like, I can use it comfortably. But I describe Andrew, Prince Andrew as hot and sexy and describe their courtship. And, you know, I talk about Andrew's career was in the Navy. And then when they, they reunited, I, I said they were literally ripping each other's clothes off. And then I, you know, comment, commentated, I'm serious. <laughs> like I was obviously, really interested in this then I talk about how it's like homecoming week and I um won the costume contest on pajama day I maybe remember this you know when I really think of it but I think like I've always been like a performer like I don't, I don't know why I you know stopped I've always been like you know a showboat <laughs> Maybe that's not great, but that's who I am. And here I am, you know, trying to have this YouTube channel, just me talking. So there I was, 14, winning, like, the, the contest. And I even talk about how I thought I should have won more days. <laughs> then I talk about doing a, um, a report for a geography class about Romania. And then I say the last thing I said, and one of the pictures was of a nude beach. <laughs> which again, I'm also interested now. So here I am talking about ripping people's clothes off, hot men and nude beaches. And I mean, I still, like, that's still like a number very high on my interest level. <laughs> so I don't know. Again, I don't want to, like what would have happened if I had like harnessed who I was when I was in ninth grade and just like, you know, I don't like the, I don't love the phrase leaned in, but what if I had leaned into that? Like, obviously, 
<laughs> what if I had tried to been some, I don't know, actress is the right. I feel, again, most comfortable playing myself, but you never know. Obviously, like, I've read books about, like, women, like, um, that were, like, performers slash sex, sex performers. I don't know, like, I could have, what if I had, like, pursued a career in that? I think I'd be really good. Anyway, I guess, you know, never too late. Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah, and also my art teacher said in ninth grade that I was good at drawing. Yeah, I don't remember that. So I think I got too obsessed, stupidly, because it came to nothing, with, like, my stupid grades. Like, I talk a lot about, I got an 88 on the test. Like, who cares? I got already, I'm already, like, who I am now, interested in sex, performing, literature. <laughs> so anyway, better late than never. I guess here I am not talking about it on YouTube for millions of viewers. But anyway, my question for the group is, are we essentially the same people at 14 that we are for the rest of our lives? Obviously, I think the answer is, you know, some yes and no, yes and no. But I was amazed at how my interest, interests now are the same as they were in 1992. <laughs> Bye.